you know, using the interactive contour tool. The interactive contour tool is located in this toolbar here and it's in this icon here for contour. Now let's analyze this, uh, these objects here. So interactive contour can be applied onto objects and it can also be um, be applied onto text like for example here. Okay. So now what is the concept of uh, interactive tool? Interactive contour tool. So for example I have a rectangle or okay, like rectangle here and I want to apply or create a border which goes inside the rectangle. So I can use the interactive contour tool for that one. So I click on interactive contour tool. Okay. And then in here in the property bar you can have you would see here if you mouse mouse over here it says here contour steps. So how many contour going inside? So this is the location of the or the direction of where the contour will go would it go inside? to center or to outside. I normally just use the inside and outside. So in here, I'm going to click on inside and two steps. And this one here is the distance of the contour. So right now it's 0.15 of an inch. So I can increase that manually by going this way. And in real time, it would change like that. So I'll make that thinner. And in here too, in the steps, you can also manually uh, add more steps, and you can you can see what's happening in here. Okay, so it's real time too. So what I need is I only need uh, how many steps? Three steps. So uh, let's say two steps here. Okay. Now in here, let's say I want to uh, just. Uh, color this two here I mean the, the border so when you once you click uh, apply the interactive contour these are grouped together so click on the uh, the contour and then go to arrange and click on break contour apart so once you click on break contour apart now this two here you can color it okay well once if you notice it it's grouped together okay so I'm going to ungroup it so click ungroup and then I'll combine so click on combine now you have a border okay. so it's the same concept with this one it's just that it's rounded corners now for text it's also the same okay so let's say I'm going to put my name here okay and I'm going to uh, change the font okay. and okay I'll just pick a color here let's say this one here and then I'm going to create a contour okay. so I go to my contour tool and then I'll instead of going inside I'll click on outside so I want the contour going outside and I'll test this one it went outside now you can control this uh, with this one here okay so in here let's say you want a different color it changes right and there and this outline blue too you can change it okay but I normally not change this one I just change the fill here okay. but if you really want to have control on on the colors of the contour I would just leave it like that and then you just go to arrange and break contour apart so once you break contour apart this one's separated already okay. then you can ungroup that so once you ungroup it then you can individually change the color of the contour so you want to can make that yellow. 